Hello, Angela here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch another video. If you're new here, my name is Angela. I lost some weight, fell in love with running. Now I'm trying to live the healthiest life I possibly can while being a mom. And I'm struggling. I have to do a run today, a long run. Now I'm thinking about it. Have I even been out running this week? Yeah, I have. Okay, long week. Happy Friday. So, have a race tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a very fun day. So that'll be a different look. But need to go ahead and get out and do some running because I am running a half marathon at the end of the month. So. Just gotta go ahead and throw myself back into it. Right now, I'm gonna try some Element here. Actually, this I have a sample pack here. Willie made me try this stuff and I don't hate it. I mean, it's really great as like an electrolyte drink mix. It's really, really good. It's a little, it's more salty than sweet, but man, I love it. But man, the stuff is expensive. You know, everybody's toting it on the internet now, but it is expensive. So what flavors do I have here? Mint, chocolate, gross. That's just, no, that's, mint chocolate is just not a flavor that I want while I'm running, but whatever. I guess we're gonna have to give it a go because that's what they sent me. I've never had this. I had like the grapefruit flavor before, but I'm tired. I wanna come home and watch F1. No, this, this may not be the vibe, but. We're gonna give it a go. We shall give it a go. It's just not really what you want. It says a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium. I don't know if this is the vibe for me. Let's just. I'm gonna have to taste this before I go. Taste test. Not the vibe for a run. I mean, it's not bad. It's not something that I want to drink on the run, but I've already used it. So today we will be testing out the mint chocolate element. And now it's time to go run. Let's do this. Now we have to run. I'm coming out of rest for that. <sighs> Jesus. we've had here in Southeast Texas. It's only gonna be 86 degrees tonight. It's gonna be like 60. I mean, granted, the weather's probably gonna change again, but you have to take these days. It's so pretty. You gotta take them when they come. So I gotta get back to running. <sighs> coffee from Duncan and they're out of almond milk and they're out of cold foam which is something that you have to pay extra for but I wanted to take a minute to talk about 
um, you know, just have a little chat about running because I never ever like specifically sit down and talk about running. Um, so I wanted to talk about what my running goals are for the end of the year and like this kind of the state of the union with my running. I'm sorry if you can hear the air conditioner. Um, so I have a 5k that I signed up for tomorrow and then I signed up for a half marathon at the end of the month and then I also signed up for the Dallas half marathon weekend so like I'm gonna do the whole shebang there in December so that like that's what I have on the calendar Truth, truthfully the reason why I haven't been running races is because I can't really get up like I'm just tired that extra time that it would take me to um, get ready to go to a race or having to stay overnight or whatever it's just not a vibe for me right now and I'm just not in that season where I want to get up early in the morning and run it's just it's not appealing to me so that's why I haven't really been signing up for any races at the beginning of the year I kind of have the inkling to want to run a marathon and I have to be careful about that because running a marathon is like a huge time commitment. And also I feel like that was a period that I went through where I had more time, I could get better sleep and all of those things. And I'm just not in that phase of life right now. And as much as it pains me to have to say that, it's just, I can't train for a marathon right now. I don't have the time to do the super, super long runs. I don't have the time for the recovery. I don't have the time, you know, to like schedule it. I, it's just a, a lot of things are coming down at one time. And I just, it, it, it pains me that I just can't um, commit to running a marathon. So for right now, I'm just going to have to stick with the halves and go with it. And another thing is that if I run a marathon, I have to run a marathon that has like a longer time limit. I'm not really happy with my half marathon, my half marathon pace. I thought like two, two years ago, I thought that my pace would be different than what it is now. And I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not getting any worse. It's not getting any better. I'm just very like stagnant where I am. And that's probably because I don't have the time to commit to my running. The time that I get to work out is very precious to me and I have to take and use that time as best as I possibly can. So I don't always have the time to do, or I don't always have the luxury to do the planned workouts that I want to do. Like sometimes it's just better to A, move your body or B, I have to work with what my time allows me to do. And sometimes that's just not always running or running as long as I want to or being able to do the workouts that I want to do. Maybe because I'm physically tired and I just can't do it. Um, so I'm, I'm going through like a running evolution right now and it's not it's not the worst place to be but it's definitely not the best place that I want to be either I know that I've taken on a lot of other things you know um obviously it's no secret to you I do a lot of stuff with the PTA that takes up a lot of my my free time I also have to work and I have my content that I like to create and you know there's only so much time in the day you know like I have to be a mom I have to be a wife I have to be what's going on here yeah I have to be a mom I have to be a wife I have to be a daughter and it's just right now things are not working out the way that I want them to in life um but hey it's just the season and it will pass and it will be better so today I was able, for the first time in like three weeks, I was able to go out for a longer-ish run. So I was able to devote an hour. I actually wanted to do 90 minutes, but it just wasn't in the cards for me. I'm having one of those days where like, I just don't want to do anything. So, and this is the problem with, you know, when it comes to the running or whatever, like some days I do have these days where I don't, I don't 
the free time that I do have, do I want to go out running for two or three hours? I just, it's just not for me. But yeah, I, did, I was able to go out and run for an hour and it felt good. Like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna run a 5K. So, I mean, the week has been good. I've, I've worked out after tomorrow, I would have worked out um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, had a rest day Thursday, worked out today. So I, I would have hit five days. I tried to hit five or six days a week. Six is very ambitious. Like if I'm like something magical had to have happened that weekend. I mean that week. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really striving for five days of workout, two days of rest days. And that's just where I am right now. Like my running is what it is. I, I've been averaging probably about like a 14, 15 pace and I actually thought that I would be in my 13s by now but I'm not um so I mean that's a little disappointing but I also you only get get what you give right and the summer was hot and I probably even though I felt really strong over the summer like doing the treadmill and doing all that I maybe I'm probably being a little bit too hard on myself um but this is this is just, this is just a moment, you know. Um, yeah, my running's not getting any worse. It's not getting any better. I mean, I feel strong and healthy and all of that. So I have no complaints, but that is the state of running. Um, I'm, now it's 11.30, I'm trying to go home. I really needed this coffee because I'm tired, but they didn't have any almond milk that I had to pay for. But anyway. So that's the state of running. I'm gonna go home and watch F1. about to start so I have to go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank what are you, you. A Bavarian beer garden? <laughs> too busy talking so I didn't warm up so this is a little bit more painful than what it should be 1.3 miles in but I'm still not warm I'm older now so it takes me a little longer to warm up but we're doing it Alright, 
I'm done. Got my medal here. I don't know how long it took me. Let's see. All right, 3.14 miles, 43 minutes. Average pace 13.47, so that's the fastest I've been in a long time. It helps for me to be around people. We'll say that. We'll go find my kid now. <laughs> 